So every once in a while you hear somebody say, well, I have a centrifuge. I really don't need to use a dehydrator. Let's just center on the centrifuge right now. Is this something that's still used often? I don't see it much. It seems to be more of an old style. What's your thoughts? Uh, it, it is an older technology. Uh, there are, and there are some, cu- some cu- customers today that, that have actually purchased new, new centrifuges. They're, they're still manufactured today. Uh, they are fairly efficient at removing large, gross amounts of water. Uh, a place that I see centrifuge used a good bit is in the oil reclamation industry, especially like at uh, tire manufacturing plants where tire presses leak hydraulic fluid into the pit. This fluid is typically pumped outside and uh, these companies typically pay uh, another oil service company to come in and process that fluid, essentially remove the water from that fluid, filter that fluid so that it is uh, clean and dry. And the first stage of removing that water is typically through a centrifuge. The biggest things that I see with centrifuge is they are a very precise piece of equipment that requires very diligent maintenance. In most industrial environments, it's not a good choice, even if it can effectively do the job that they're purchasing for, the biggest problem you see is they're hard to maintain. So if they're removing a lot of particulate, they have to be worked on. I've seen places where they have to tear them down every shift. So if you're, when you're looking at different technologies for an application, one of the things you always want to consider is what are we going to have to do to keep this thing running? Because we're buying a piece of equipment to fix a problem, are we adding another problem? Um, the way I look at it, if you're on an aircraft carrier, on a nuclear aircraft carrier and you've got a guy that all he does is take care of the centrifuge, it'll probably work fine and it'll do a good job. In an industrial environment where resources are limited and people are pulling multiple duty and people are are stretched, I don't see it as an effective tool anymore. Um, Forty years ago it was the only technology you had and it it does an adequate job, but in the considerations of, of efficiency Uh, of manpower and resources, I don't think it is anymore. As a general rule, when I walk into a plant that has a centrifuge, it's not running. It's sitting over in the corner disassembled, and people are are frustrated with the amount of maintenance that it takes. When you have a high-speed, high-precision piece of equipment that is getting coated with dirt as part of its process, which can affect the balance, the, the work that goes into keeping that thing running can be very, very... Uh, daunting. So I think it's a technology that can remove quite a bit and in a lab setting or um, there there are settings where I think it's effective. I just think that there are other technologies that have come along that are much more user-friendly and much more practical. And the biggest drawback about it, about uh, using a centrifuge is it can only affect free water. Uh, and in order to affect free water, the, 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 the lubricant is going to have to have good demulsibility or have the ability to separate from the lubricant itself. Uh, and even in a perfect world, I don't see a, a, a centrifuge removing 100% of the free water on a single pass. The, the best you're going to get would be somewhere in the 90 to 95% range. And since most of these lubricants are lubricating bearings, if if your sole method of removing water is with a centrifuge, you are agreeing to always have some water present going through your system. Yep. I've uh, seen that there's limitations around 1,000 ppm, below which it's not that effective. Um, and also particles below 10 micron in size, the centrifuge really doesn't have an effect. So if a company wants to rely on the centrifuge to really polish the oil, there is some limitations, but I will say from personal experience, I think the biggest uh, negative is the maintenance. It's maintenance intensive, big time.